You know, it seems so simple looking at a spinnerbait skirt that if you were to walk through a Bass Pro Shops or Academy, you would almost think that all skirts were created equal. In reality, for those that know all about what is called living rubber or even the predecessor to that, the latex tube skirt, there is something truly magical in this skirt and this skirt alone. I remember growing up, my first ever spinnerbait was a MEPS bass killer. Sort of their ill-fated venture into bass fishing spinnerbaits outside of inline spinners. And that bait, when you reeled it through the water, the skirt almost had this undulating action. While the skirts they make today stand up great, they come in some awesome colors, there's not even a comparison when it comes to the action. So when I stumbled upon Bacon's Tackle a few years ago and I saw his incredible wall of tube skirts, man, my mind was blown. Yes, these things do not necessarily hold up. That living rubber has a tendency to die on you, get gummy, I get it. But any fish lure we buy, why do we buy it? Do you buy a lure because it's gonna be the longest lasting lure or do you buy a lure because it's going to catch fish? Well, to me, nothing even comes close to a latex skirt. So I cannot wait to soup up some of my spinnerbaits, just like this OG Strike King with some old Ben skirts. Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'. Today when I was at Bacon's Tackle in Shreveport, Louisiana, I brought along a number of spinnerbaits that I had that were desperately in need of some new skirts. And lucky for me, Michael Bacon and his father's Old Ben's company used to sell 90% of the latex tube skirts to the industry. They made skirts for everybody from Fred Arbogast, to H&H &H, to Strike King. Even though those tube skirts are no longer in production, Bacon still has a number of those for sale in his shop. Uh, they come two per pack for $3.19, which is an insane deal. And they've got just about every color you could want. I've got a bunch of spinner baits, everything from Strike Kings to Mans, that are desperately needing some of these. So stick around as we try to make a love connection between some spinner baits and some skirts. All right, well, I'm going to try to turn the camera around as best I can in this little hotel room and show you guys perhaps some of the decision-making process as I try to load up some of my old school spinner baits with some of these old school skirts. Okay, here are some spinner baits and one other bait that needs a skirt. And here are some skirts that I picked up from Bacon. So we'll do our best to Meld the two of these together in real time. Ah, oh boy, what do we start with? <laughs> well, maybe the first bait we should start with is this one. This is a nice hula dancer, I think, that I got from John and Lindia. And this is a pretty sweet little crankbait. Yep, hula dancer, says it right there. But it is missing a skirt. So this is sort of a perch color, and so I'm either gonna go with a orange and green, or could do chartreuse and white, yellow. I think I'm gonna go with this orange. I think that's gonna be the ticket. I just have two of those skirts, but probably I'm not gonna put this on too, too many spinner baits, so we'll try this thing out. Shake this little tube skirt out. Oof. So 
that is a pretty sweet old school tube skirt. Yep, it's got green and orange. And let's try to thread that on this little hula dancer as best we can. I'm trying to hook myself with a rusty old hook. Ugh. This is probably gonna be the hard one of the day, so I should probably just start it out so easier. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you go. That does not look too bad. Look at that. Nice little hula dancer. A little hula skirt. I might trim that up a hair. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But either way, I'm uh, pretty happy with that bait. Okay. Uh, next, let's start with probably the oldest spinner bait that I've got. And this is an original Strike King spinnerbait. It's so old that it's got that safety pin style arm. It's got an unbranded blade, but this is a Strike King because I remember opening this thing up. And even though the head is worn down a little bit, I'm pretty sure that was a white and chartreuse or black and chartreuse. So let's go ahead and pair that guy up with this one. So that is a good looking little spinnerbait. I think that will pair very nicely. So do I want to rig them like that? Or do I want to go the opposite way? Let's go the opposite way. That's gonna be the question all day though, I think. So it's amazing. This is probably this tube so is probably 30 years old, but it's in pristine shape. Probably because it's never seen the water. I'm gonna go ahead and thread the hook into here. Roll it on there. Come on, buddy. And just slowly work this thing up. There we go. I pass the barb. looking. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, buddy, look at that. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, that's a good match. Uh, I'm really, really happy with the first one we just did. Oh, what other cool baits do we have? Well, I've got a boatload of old school man spinner baits. Uh, I've got some oaky bugs. Well, we might as well stick with Strike King. Here's another Strike King, a little bit of a newer model. It's actually got the diamond blade on it. That's a little bit more of a chartreuse. Let's go ahead and perhaps pair that up with a, what do you guys think, a chartreuse in white? Or do we go all chartreuse? All chartreuse? Okay, a good call. Don't blame me. A nice all chartreuse tube skirt there. Just gotta find the tube. Yep, there we go. Okay. So again, same deal. We'll throw our hook here. If you can get the ooh, that one's gonna go on a lot easier. I'll wet that a little bit. <laughs> Look at that little piece of old school spinnerbait gold. Look at that right man. That that actually came out better than I thought. That's awesome. <laughs> wow. Oh, all right, all right, all right. So here is one. This is a Bass Pro Shops spinnerbait. This is a unique one. It's a black head. 
I forget what color skirt this thing came with. And copper blades, hammered willow leaf. That's an interesting one. Ah, uh, let's go weird. Let's. What do you think about this one? That purple. You throw the purple in there. That might be easy, huh? Especially if it's sort of a nighttime type bait. Something a little bit darker. Ooh. Oh, that's actually got black in it too. So that's black, pink, and purple. That is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. A powder on there. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I kind of what you, the key is you really do want to make that hole visible because if you take even one of these skirts and get it through the middle of that hole, I've done that before, it kind of ruins the whole deal. So there we go. Want that a little bit. And moment of truth. What do we got? Ooh. That's a unique look of little spinnerbait, isn't it? Let's get a better look at that. Oh man. Yeah, that's money. I like that a lot. And definitely not a profile in any way that the fish are seeing a ton these days. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. What else do we have here? So we've got some man's baits. I do see this. It's a nice tornado spinner bait. A little uh, single chrome blade, black head. Uh, we got to think about this one. So we could go green, green and black, just really make it wild. We've got this nice blue, blue and black. Hmm. We still got that one purple sitting there. What do you think? Should we go purple again? Yeah, okay, let's go purple again. Good call. I think that's just different enough of a spinnerbait. I like this color. Probably should have picked up more than two of these skirts. <laughs> I don't think I realized at the time that it had black in it. I love that. And you just got to uh, make sure you can find the... I'm gonna find the little hole there. There we go. All right. Tornado going in. And let's see what this looks like. <laughs> yeah, that's uh that's pretty sweet. All right, so here's one. This is the nice OG Don Butler Oki Bug. You can see Oki Bug is stamped on the blade there. It's got a chartreuse head. So what do we do with that one? Well, you know, I've got a good number of this chartreuse and white. We haven't used it yet. So let's go ahead and throw that on here and see how that looks. <laughs> hmm. Looks about right, doesn't it? Wow, awesome. Man, we are we are doing some damage today. So before we get to the man, let's try to knock out everything that's not a man's. Um I've also got this Oki bug. This is a single blade, gold blade, stamped Oki bug on it. Got a gold head. <sighs> what could we do that's weird? Um, gold and blue? Gold and green? Ooh. You know what? That might actually work. That green, white, and orange. That might be a good little, little combo there. Let's shake that guy out. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's gonna go well. So, this is almost like it's an orange, a dark green, and a light green. It's really cool. There we go. There, get that out of there. 
That guy's gonna go in the hole if I don't fix him. I'll tell you right now. How are we looking? Ooh, it's kind of unique, isn't it? Look at that. Definitely interesting, interesting looking spinner bait. Not used to seeing them with the head chromed out. Kind of changes the whole deal, doesn't it? All right, so now it looks like we are on to, oh, not quite the man's, we're close. We're close. So I've got these two spinner baits from, I believe this is Crankbait Corporation, when they had their clear blade. This thing did not take off nearly as much as they'd hoped. And there's actually a great article in Bass Fishing Archives, I think, about this bait and how it really wasn't, didn't live up to the hype. But nevertheless, I've got two of them. I've got one with a sort of a chartreuse and black head. And then the mini, looks like a quarter ounce or maybe even less with the black head. So, what do we throw on here? Um, so let's go. That head's more yellow. So let's go ahead and throw this yellow and white on this guy. Harder to get on the head than you think. Shoot. And I think it's because this Crankbait Corporation spinnerbait's got just the teeniest little hook. Not really an ideal hook at all. So it's pretty much the worst spinnerbait ever. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and slide this thing up best we can. Man, this one's a tough one to rig. Really tough. I don't know why. Alright, let's give it a shot. How are we looking? There we go. Not too bad. <laughs> I don't know if that will ever catch a fish, but we can at least give it a shot now. And let's go ahead and well, let's save this guy. I want to see how many of these uh, scripts we've got. We'll put this guy up to the side for now. All right, so now on to the many man's baits that I've got. Let's start with the most unique, and we'll go from there. So this one, somebody sent me an old man's undulator. Check it out. It's a three-part blade that, well, undulates. So pretty much every man's head I've got is the same sort of white, orange, and chartreuse pattern, so it's going to be up to us to pick our skirts, but we might as well throw on one of these white and chartreuse for this undulator. I think this will be a good match. Ho 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 ho. Totally. Look at that. Woo. I've also got some of these. This is another discontinued bait. Forget the name of this one. Drop a comment if you know, but it's more it's got sort of the double blades and it's almost like a jig. That's pretty sweet. I think I have two of those. So maybe we'll switch up the colors. Let's go ahead and do at least one of them with this white and chartreuse. Got a feeling this is going to be our sort of skirt color of choice for these mans.
<laughs> and then we got this guy. So it's a jig. You know what? I'm gonna throw this guy on. We're gonna make this like a little uh little bluegill. A little white chartreuse and blue. Yeah, okay. There we go. Look at that color. Isn't that cool? Well, let's go ahead and rig this dude up. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's cool. Let's compare both of these. So there's one with the white and chartreuse. And same bait with the white chartreuse and blue. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, what do we have next? Oh, just a bunch, a bunch of classics. But let's look at got two of these, which are the Paul Elias. Legend spinner baits. This is a unique spinner bait. Two different sizes that I've got. And this one is it's a willow leaf, but there's a couple things that are unique about this. First off, there's a little clear spacer that separates this top blade from the bottom. It's really got good distance on it. But then the bottom is two blades. So what a unique setup. Discontinued from Paul Elias back when he was on the cover of this rocking a big old 80s beard. <laughs> so let's, two different sizes, let's rig those two up the same. So what do you guys think? Chartreuse and white? Or do we just go straight? Let's go white. Yeah, you're right. Let's go chartreuse and white on these. Classic. Probably should have grabbed more chartreuse and white. This on there and up. <laughs> There's one. Let's do the second guy. We are definitely making a dent in our skirts, but I still feel like I've got a lot of lead and blades over here. Uh, what do we do next? <laughs> well, ooh, is that a rattle? Yep, the old Tom Man's loud mouth. <laughs> That's a pretty sweet one. Uh, let's see what we've got here. So we've got one, two, of the white and chartreuse, and then we got some other colors. So loud mouth, kind of a loud bait. Probably use it in some dingy water. So maybe we'll switch up the color. Maybe we'll go with the blue. Something that would really show up in a sort of a weird water condition kind of day, huh? What do you think? Yeah, we can dig that. Any water condition where I'm throwing a rattling spinner bait, it's probably gonna be pretty murky. So I need something that pops. If I can find the tube, there we go. Kind of a unique look, isn't it? Look at that. A blue man's loudmouth. There's probably never been such a bait. All right, let's move on. Oh, there's one more loudmouth. So we did one blue. 
What do you guys want? Do you want green? That'd be kind of cool, huh? Oh, are getting weird. Ooh, and there's the green. So let's compare these two. So there's the blue and the green. <laughs> nice. All right, let's keep on keeping on. So there's a three quarter now. So I'm probably not gonna fish that too, too often. So I'm gonna save those guys. And there's some three eighths. Let's do that. There's a, a three eighths with a will leaf. Let's try to plan this out a little bit here. There's a quarter ounce, another quarter, there's a three eighths, three eighths, three eighths, and then a Rick Clun trickster. I'll put that up to the side. So we got four of those guys, three of Colorado's, and then two of those. Oh, let's see here. Let's see. Well, you could go maybe that guy on that guy. What do you think? Maybe a little chartreuse in white. Have we done any straight chartreuse? I don't know if we have. Let's see. So we'll do... I think chartreuse and white with a silver blade. We've got this one just the gold. So we could go straight chartreuse there. And then on this silver, we go blue and white. Or we could just go, ooh, let's just go blue. Feeling crazy. Look at that. Yeah, maybe a little blue there. And there may be a little blue on one of these two. I don't know why, I'm gonna start throwing a blue spinnerbait, I think. Yeah, okay, done. Blue there, and then this guy, white and chartreuse, what do you think? So here's our silver willow leaf blade. Get that on there best I can. Very nice. Let's go to the straight chartreuse on a double Colorado gold blade. This would be a good dirty water one, I think. Would you agree? Yeah. We'll save that for the last. Oh. Drop that guy. <laughs> Another double gold. I should go to the green instead? Okay. Alright. We'll be crazy. We'll do another green instead. Ooh. Now, right, now we can do the blue. There's tubes hidden in this guy. Can I find it? There we go. <laughs> okay, so I've made a decision. I'm going to get rid of that guy. And I'm going to go another green. So what we're going to have is two blues and two greens. 
That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. bugger to get on our last one. Come on. How are we looking? Ho, ho, ho. So there we go. So we've got the quarter ounce and the three eighths, I think, in green. And, oh, we didn't put that on yet. Shoot. You know what? Since we already went green and blue on these, we might as well finish it out. I didn't think I'd be making as many green and blue spinner baits, <laughs> but why not? And now I'll have a green and a blue for each of the three sizes of the Man's Classic. If I can find the hole. It's in there somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just can't see the light, can you, Russ? All right, there we go. All right. Last blue. Get this guy on there if I can. Almost. Just got to twist it on there a little bit better. Ooh. And then the last green. Last spinnerbait of the night. <laughs> and ah. all right, so there is a green. So we got the three quarter ounce green. There's the three A's quarter and same with the blue that is too too cool what a uh, what a wild looking bait i hope you guys enjoy this little spinnerbait skirting episode nearly as much as i did i gotta tell you since the last time i was at bacon's and i saw his wall of tube skirts I have been collecting different spinnerbaits of mine that are desperately in need of a skirt. And even though I could go to Bass Pro Shops or Academy and get a modern day skirt, I was holding out for those Bacon's Latex Originals and I'm so glad I did. Boy, we have got, at this point, looks like about two dozen spinnerbaits that are rigged up and ready to fish. By the way, drop a comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite spinnerbait of the episode and which one you want to see me fish with first. And if you're looking for some more old school content, click right here. Otherwise, I'll see it right back here at the same time, same place. And until then, keep the carpet side up. And <laughs> definitely, spin it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bass. Mm -hmm.